It's been over a year in the making. Um, but I am now getting ready to listen to my very last his studio album that I have not heard uh, yet. I have reacted to all of them, and I have put them all in a giant playlist. This is kind of the end of a journey for me. Throughout this journey, I found my favorite band. Like, not an exaggeration, I found my favorite band. I found a community of people that I became friends with and a digital community that became one of the coolest places, I think, on the internet. Um, I, 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 you know, honestly, I owe a lot of it to the homie Rumham, uh, who is in this chat. Um, he is actually the person that introduced me to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard as just kind of a random what up on Twitch. And uh, it really was just kind of a random moment that kind of changed my life. Um, I've literally, again, dug real deep into this. I've done live uh, stuff along the way. And after this album, Giz Day is going to be composed of uh, bootlegs and live performances and hanging out with uh, the Gizaruskis until we have another new album to listen to. And at that point, my hope is to listen to it the day it drops and have an impromptu Giz Day. But uh, I kind of feel sad to say... I kind of feel sad to say that this is the last one, uh, and it's a short one. So um, I, I'm told that this is another kind of collection, kind of like uh, Omnium or, or Gumboot. So I'm excited. This is from 2014. There are 12 songs. And golly goodness, guys, I got to be honest, I'm getting a little bit... Uh, I'm actually... I, it's like happy it's a little bittersweet it really kind of is it's like there's not that one more thing to look for um yet now i have to be like the rest of you and just wait for new music and listen to the old stuff um so yeah guys uh here is the album cover it is so busy it is so eclectic very psychedelic definitely that era of giz for sure uh yeah um as always ruskies put uh your context in the chat or in the youtube comments um i'm gonna hit the play button on this thing but before i do it's very important to me that you know that you are awesome that you are valuable that you are important that you matter that you are deserving of love and that i am abundantly grateful for even a moment of your time thank you for having been with me this whole journey and uh you know hanging out with me thank you for uh your your kind words and uh your suggestions guys without further ado aluda majaka akuna matata the last album this doesn't have lyrics i don't guess I love the editing. There's so many panning things. It's to, this was made to test a new synth they bought. It seems like music that you would play in like a like a a thief film, like a Ocean's Eleven or something. Like this is the montage of them getting all of the supplies. Penicular kiss. <laughs> For sure ridiculous. This was the same year as mine, Fuzz. I love the synth work and I love the pan work. Feel like they're playing with vocoders. The panning there. Wow. The bass pans too. I think they were just having fun and like doing stuff on the computer. Oh man. <laughs> 
I'm getting such a, a, a music boner over the pan work that's happening in this song. being experimental with the sounds that they can make. It's like they're twisting timing knobs on their synth. Stand by the music boner comment over the panning. Take care, Juniper. Thank you for being here. Is Eric playing drums in this one? Wow, the wobbling out. So this is the double drummer days. And this one, this next one is stressing. Ooh. I love the reverby clean sound guitars here. Kind of feels like it could have ended up on paper mache. But it's a little bit more wop warbly. I can hear a Funkadelic inspiration here. Ooh. I, I do like this soulful kind of sound. His voice is a little wet and reverby for me, but I don't mind it too bad. Feels like they were definitely aiming for it, like a 60s funkadelic kind of vibe, you know? Like this idea of biting down on your jaw because you're you're stressed, you're anxious. I, I get it. We've all been there. They're really experimenting with the pan work on this album. This solo is bouncing left to right here. Gives me a Mac DeMarco kind of vibe. Do, am I the only one? Does anybody else get a Mac DeMarco vibe from here? Because I kind of hear Mac D here. Like Salad Days era Mac D? I actually really enjoyed this one. Mac DeMarco is a big a big favorite of mine, and I liked the vibe. I liked that it was somehow 60s and modern indie. Uh, this was a vibe to me. 
Sterescent. Vegemite. The Whoa. Whoa. This sounds like the toy, uh, toy dolls to me. I didn't mean to do that. I, I went to go pause it. Hey, whoa, so many noises happened at once just then. Sorry. Hey, thank you for those tickle biddies. But I wanted to just comment on the fact that I had to just clear up another word on the friggin' auto mod here. And I just want you to see, like, it's ridiculous what Twitch makes me do. You know? <laughs> like, it, you, you can't innocently talk about a pube? Come on, Twitch. Come on, Twitch. Like, what? Whatever happened to, to, to open conversation? Does anybody else get the toy dolls vibe from this? Dang. You know, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Guys, you can talk about one of your pubes or all of your pubes now. Okay? I ask that you don't, but you can. No! <sighs> Just... <laughs> Nice try. <laughs> Sorry, I heard my dog bark there. I, 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 I can't get past how this is like reminiscent of toy dolls, but also kind of just like indie rock and like 60s beach vibe sounds. You can't stand this? I've been thinking this is a vibe. Yeah, I totally agree to boot. And both of you, welcome by. For the first time. Welcome, welcome. Okay. My comment on Vegemite. I tried Vegemite. I thought it would be sweet, I think. I look at this substance. I think, hey, maybe potentially like chocolatey flavored. Not the case. Not the case at all. I thought, you know, like, hey, people smear this on like PB and J. And yeah, it was not, it was not, I was not a fan of Vegemite at all. Um, I'm not hating on people that like Vegemite, but it, it was not for me. Not for me. Give me a moment. I'm going to shut my door real quick. How was dinner, Bubba? Love it. Love you, man. Okay, we back. I like Baby boy. I hey, love. This song 
is a whole vibe, even though I don't like Vegemite. Wow. Golly goodness. Yeah, no, this song was fun. I like that. It It's got old. We're in the swamp, guys. Kind of reminds me of an Oasis song. B741 vibes for sure. That harmonica's wailing. And you're always saying you're broke But I'll keep my hands on the steering wheel If you keep your eyes on the road Very much an Oasis sound to me This song is great. Am I hearing a flute also? This song wails, guys. And this, I mean, the harmonica here is so good. <laughs> Also, uh, sounds it sounds like a couple of songs to me. It sounds a, a little bit to me like Bonehead's Bank Holiday by Oasis. It also sounds uh, a little bit to me like All Around the World. Yo, thank you for following. I love that. Oh, oh, oh. It got old. I had to think about it. Cause it got old. It's hard to bend my voice like the way he does there. I have to be able to hear myself to do it, otherwise it's coming flat. <laughs> Scoodle dump! Right. Scoodle dump! Dude! I love this work this time. We work in this time. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm immediately dealing with a tuning fork in my loins. Scoots, thank you, dude. Seriously, though. Wow. 
This is man. You know, as I'm sitting here, like thinking about all of the Giz songs that I've heard, like kind of this album has been a little different in that everything I've heard, I've thought like, what does the sound like of theirs? Or does this sound different or something like I haven't heard before? And this feels like it'd be in a really sad movie scene. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this could, I, I don't know. I, and I guess the way he's delivering it, right? Like I'm, I'm taking it that this is a Joey song. I love the soundscapey thing here. I kind of like this, um, indie rock sort of, I don't want to go comparing it, but it's, it's in kind of the same ilk of like a tame Impala sound. Um, and, and I really like that, but it's just that psychedelic ambient lo-fi kind of sound. And I think Joey really excels at doing the lo-fi thing. This is his first song for Giz. Oh my gosh. No, this is 100%. And if, I mean, you guys are saying that this is the biggest song. I, I kind of think it's poetic that I would hear this like on the last album. I've loved this song so much since it started. I actually am going to run it back. It almost sounds like he's kind of singing a little bit like Sonic Youth sometimes, particularly in that song where they covered the Carpenters. Yeah, Sea Snake. Oh man. The bass line here is so nice too. No. This has got such an emotional thing to it. This tremolo sound guitar. guitars with this slow tremolo sound I'd be interested to know what Joey wrote this about sound this is the same guy that throat sings
goodness. Oh, wow. That was really incredible. That was really, really incredible. I really loved that. Thank you so much for those 100 tick old biddies. Next week, consider watching Bonnaroo 22. It's got... This is gonna, I, I'm trying, I'm gonna have to figure out how we're gonna, we're gonna address next week, but I gotta be honest, work this time really, really, really hit me. Um, just maybe for the melancholic nature it had to it, you know? Like, may, I, it, it was just something that was kind of heavy, kind of deep, kind of sincere. Um, yeah, sure. I don't know. Now, um, Again, work this time though. It's too good. And this is this is A B A B C D. A B A B C D. I think this is great. It'll pickle my pubes. <laughs> Sleepwalker. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, man. This is super nice. What, what, what? Is that a theremin? Am I hearing a theremin? Such a Beach Boys vibe to this. This is so good. This song reminds me of the song You Got It by Roy Orbison. And I don't want you to leave the stream. I don't want you to leave the YouTube video. But after this song, or after this stream, go and look up the song You Got It by Roy Orbison. And you're going to be like, Walter, you were right. That kind of reminds me of the song You Got It by Roy Orbison. Well <laughs> Without all of the synth and theremin stuff, I, I, I don't, don't go thinking you're gonna hear Roy Orbison with synth and theremin. This is so good, guys. I really like this one. The panning there with the whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. I also feel like the shins are taking similar inspiration to this sound. This 
is such a good song. I I love the synth work. I feel like Psy Boogie is rooted in this song a little bit. Like, I certainly feel like... I also, maybe it's just because I've just recently listened to Talking Heads, but I also feel like maybe I'm hearing some Talking Heads Devo inspiration in this. It was only one part in Talking Heads, and it was when he went, what? (laughs) My headphones are not broken. So, you guys, yeah. That part. That part is what reminded me of Talking Heads. The height! It's an essential part for this song. That part right there, I really genuinely thought, I really genuinely thought it was me. Oh, man. Sleepwalker is a, is like such, it's kind of a Pete Giz song. It really is kind of a Pete Giz song. Hot wax. Baseline. For days. Let's friggin' go. It's like everything is kind of peaking and compressed. Oh, man. Dude. This song walked, so what album or what song could run? Question for the chat. (laughs) 
a little bit of a My Sharona kind of guitar vibe. Hot wax coming into the maze. I don't know how he does it. The harmonica. This is such a jam. Wax. I could see that comparison, Amicus. Bish McPoe, I really like that. Um, does anybody else think that maybe the guitar vibes have a little bit of a Iggy and the Stooges era sound? Man, their work with the the panning in this album has been very noticeable. I feel like they were hyper experimental with what they were learning to do at this time. I take it from Stu saying that all the albums connected in some way. Yeah. What's your favorite Giz video? Because I think mine might be. Oh. I was going to say it might be People Vulture. Uh, I, no, I think it might be from Murder of the Universe. It might be Planet B. It might be Planet B. So this is crying. Oh, dragon. I forgot. Gila monsters on that list. Ice five? Oh, man. I can't choose now. A and B. The harmonies. This is, this is Cookie? Oh, man. That huge ambient reverby sound is awesome. No, this song is a super slap. Honestly, it kind of there, it does sound like a song I can't think of right now, but I really like the sound for Ambi a lot. Like I like that there is this like 
kind of California surf sound to an indie sound as well. Like, I, I also like that they're kind of being experimental with like the psychedelic sounds that I'm hearing, but they're not overkilling it with this. This is just kind of sounded like a like a garage band, and I kind of like that. Not Ambi Cookie. I did that again. I can hear the kinks for influence for sure. The nerves a little bit too, but only for like maybe the song from when you find out, um, uh, or hanging on the telephone somewhere in there, like one of those. There's definitely, like, it sounds like the Beatles a little bit, so it's for sure Cookie. <laughs> like, Cookie sounds like the British Invasion. <laughs> I love this song. I'm not pausing. Pipe dream. Ooh, man. Good looking out on not pausing. Oh, man. Ah, oh, a little bit of a the doors kind of sound. This also is a little bit what. Uh, heavy moss kind of sounded like recently. Oh, and it's like breaking up in time? A little bit of Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I can totally see that for sure. With the discomforting psychedelic offbeat stuff. Homeless man in Adidas, as they would say elsewhere. I would say Adidas. A pretty compressed and like crackly acoustic guitar sound. It almost sounds like they recorded this with a cell phone and then they just like compressed it and it, it, it compressed the room sound. A little bit of an Elliot Smith kind of vibe. A very wet reverb voice. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't, I'm not familiar with Nick Drake. Wow. 
the band. Flange and reverb. Oh, I love this, these added layers. Can we get shout outs for Simon enjoyers in the chat? This song has been really good. Sufjan Stevens a little bit, maybe? <laughs> he really did bring the heart attack to this stream. <laughs> I'm not I got you, Sky. Cold Cadaver. And then... It sounds like water, maybe? Yeah, rain. I love that sound. It adds something to it, you know? Like you're outside as a homeless man in Adidas. And then just a rake ending? Next time, I need a quick 25 second song. This is there. I actually really liked that. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Let's, let's run that, let's run that back. Guys, uh, that's the last song. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I, I would put this above Willoughby's and 12 bar, but not above like B. But this had like huge song. Like, I really liked work this time. I really liked Sleepwalker. I really liked Homeless Man and Adidas. And like a lot, this was just kind of a more fun album, you know what I mean? Like this was, this was just a fun one. I, um, golly guys, I can't believe that that was the, that was, that was the last one. But the journey isn't over because every Wednesday we're going to be jumping into the the bootlegs we're going to be doing the live concerts we're going to be doing the live performances we're going to be competing at marbles to see what I listen to um yeah so guys now I'm going to go and build a tier list in front of everybody here on Twitch but I just wanted to say again thank you for being a part of this journey with me all of these albums have have literally been the soundtrack of my life for the last year and a half and I I, I mean there's something to be said about discovering your favorite band and getting to do so in this context with so many wonderful people um, and make so, so many friends. And then like, you know, even to the point that I could go to a concert and, and meet people that I knew that knew me from online, you know, like, um, you know, I got to take pictures with wonderful people, some people that are here in this chat, like, and that to me is just so cool. Um, the community of music 
has been awesome. But the the Giz community in general, the Giz heads, I are, you know, my favorite people, my favorite band. Thank you guys for being on this journey with me. Don't think it's over. Um, you know, stick around. More albums will drop. More performances will be performed. And more videos will be uploaded to YouTube. Guys, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for the positivity that you show both to me and to one another. Continue to be the best. And until I see you next, be introspective and consider the birds. Goodbye.